Welcome back everyone. We are now going to start looking at a feature that I really enjoy using when I'm working with Excel and that is the table feature. When you get a lot of data in Excel uh, sometimes you want to be able to organize it and do some things with it that remind you of using a database and what Excel has come up with is the table feature. When you apply the table feature, then your data in your spreadsheet will start to act just like a record in a database, which can kind of come in handy. We'll go ahead and do some formatting here. I'm going to come in and select my title and go ahead and center it over top of my columns. And I'll format that as a title. I'll select my column headings and do likewise. Let's go ahead and make those headings and I'll center them just because it looks better. And now what I want to do is I am going to work on creating a style here because we have certain things we can do. I'm going to go ahead and just select my column heading and the data underneath it and I'm going to format this as a table. Now you've got all these different tables down here that you can choose from. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to pick out a green option. When this first pops up, what you'll need to do is check to make sure that this is checked where it says my table has headers. That's your column headings. And kind of like access, those will be treated almost like field names. So I'll go ahead and hit OK and you'll see what happens. It automatically adds your little drop downs here and I'll show you what those do here in a moment. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and resize some of these columns so I can see the whole column heading. And I'm going to do some things to this. I'm going to go ahead and select from experience all the way over through the type. And I'm going to center align all of this information. I'm also going to go to this higher date. And I am going to format this. I'll go to format cells. And I'll format this as a date using two digits for the month, day, and year. My money amounts over here on the right, I'm going to go ahead and format them. And what I'm going to do is I'll just set it up using the comma separator, but I just want whole amounts of money, so I'll set those to zero for the number of decimal places and hit OK. And now, while I've done this and I've got all my formatting done, I'm going to use this because I want to keep this format for the whole table that I'm going to use. If I go back up to my format as table option, I'm going to right click on the style that we chose earlier. This is a pre-designed format and I'm going to choose duplicate. So now duplicate will pop in here and we'll give it a name. We'll change the name so it's not just number two. We'll just add the word modified. Now, if there's something else that we want to add to our table, say I'm going to go under Format here, maybe I want to use a different font, or I want to make it maybe all bold, or I could even change the color here if I wanted to. I'll set it here, and then when I hit OK, and I hit OK again, now I have created a style. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of this, and I'll go back to format as table and I'll use this modified style here. Now, you may notice it didn't seem to cover over all this, and this happens occasionally. What I have to do though is in the bottom right hand corner, there's a little sizing handle. And if I click on that and drag that down over top of the data, voila, now the data is actually part of the table. And it, by doing that, it also applies all of that formatting. Now, if I need to add another record in here, if I go to my last cell, it is again acts like a database when you're working in records in a database. When you get to the very end, if you just hit your tab key again, it adds in a brand new row. And lo and behold, I have a little bit of information down here that I'm just going to copy. And I'm going to control V to paste it in there. All right. Now I'm kind of curious, honestly. Normally when you do that, oh, excuse me, go to my paste options. All right. What I want to do is 
I want to keep the form formatting doo -doo -doo. Let's see values like that and then that will go ahead and take on the formatting of the table sometimes Excel does some things and I gotta go back and think in my mind what is it that I'm doing now I've got my table in here and like I said these little drop downs allow you to do some really neat things you used to in Excel if you had uh, a bunch of information you want to sort it you had to select everything so like I had to go select it all like this and then when I sorted it it would sort all of it and keep it together keep each row together you don't have to do that now that I'm using a table I can simply go up and sort it A to Z like that and voila each row since it's treated like a record is kept together this comes in real handy especially if maybe I have four or five hundred entries here for this scholarship fund I don't want to have to be selecting all that it will drive you crazy also maybe the key thing for me is not necessarily uh, you know their name but where they live and I can go in and I can use a filter in here so maybe I just want to see the people who live in the Midwest and now I'm only going to get the people pulled out who live in the Midwest. There are a lot of nice features with this table. And they can come in real handy. Now let me show you what happens though if you want to add some things to this. Let's say I want to just add some extra fields to this. Maybe I want a percentage of quota field and when I hit my tab key because I started right next to the table it automatically adds it in as a new field and I'll add another field on there I'll call it grade now let's do this percentage of quota I'm gonna create a line break right there hold down my alt key and hit enter and that'll give me a little bit more room there we go we'll widen that out some now let me show you another nice feature here if I'm gonna put my formula in and the percentage of quota is simply gonna be equals and I'll take the funds that they've raised so far notice also when I click on it how it puts it in here inside of brackets that's because the, the brackets tell you that you are using a field rather than just using a cell name uh, also you may see that there's a double set of brackets excuse me the double set of brackets is because there's a space in the field name if there weren't space in the field name we'd only see one set of brackets and you'll see that here in a moment so I'm gonna take that and divide it by the quota now you'll see how that came in just with one set of brackets that's because there's no space in the name and when I hit enter it automatically filters it down for all of them we'll go ahead and format that Let's set that up as a percentage we'll add a couple decimal places so there is our table and that is how we set it up so that uh, we can filter we can sort and we can manipulate our information